So here we are with part two of HP's HDX Premium Series notebooks. In part one, we had a look at the physical features on the outside of the notebook and also what's contained inside it powering this thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to have a look at the inside physical features and also some of the other technical aspects that the HDXs have. Let me open this up. And right now we're looking at the lower half right now. And they've got their keyboard. And since this is a 16 inch model, there's just enough room that they were able to squeeze in a little number pad over here on the side. And I must say, trying out this keyboard this has to be the most comfortable keyboard I have ever typed on on a laptop computer I have never felt a keyboard as good as this one and they have their touchpad with your left and right click and your dedicated scroll zone plus HP's little on off function that's pretty common to see with their notebooks so you can disable the touchpad if you want to have it disabled if you're using an external mouse particularly when you're gaming push off the side here here's that fingerprint reader you just run your finger across it like that and it'll recognize your fingerprint scan and you can use that to log into windows or you can use it to log into your favorite websites without ever having to enter your password or reveal your information if someone's trying to look over you And also toward the top, we have their touch sensitive buttons. At the top, you have your power over here. Here's your button to launch HP's Media Smart software, which has replaced their Quick Play software. Here's all your media control keys. Your eject button for your optical drive. Here's your mute. Here's your volume slider. Here's your base and treble control for the notebook you can change between changing the treble and bass like that and then using the slider accordingly then over here is your control for disabling the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings on it you just have it like that that disables it to have to again re-enable it now we're gonna move up to the display here and let me start with the bear at the top here is the uh, HP 1.3 megapixel webcam for doing all your voice chatting uh, and here is HP's 16 inch widescreen display now what sets this differently from most notebooks is that 16 inch size has been determined by the aspect ratio which is different on this from a traditional notebook. Most of your notebook computers have a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. That's where you get your 15.4 inch and 17 inch and 12 inch sizes from. This is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So now you have laptops that are 13.3 inches, 16 inches, and 18.4 inches. So with the new 16 by 9 ratio, you get that output, say if you're watching a Blu-ray movie, to fit perfectly with the aspect ratio of the screen rather than seeing it on 16 by 10. Also with this display, this is HP's Infinity display which is the reason they call it infinity is because unlike traditional monitors on a laptop this has no physical edge to it Let's see at this point I would be hitting the edge of where the LCD sits in the bezel on this it's all flush so there's no physical edge that you can feel particularly HP says it's to give you a different kind of experience with the LCD monitor being configured like that. Now I don't want to forget that your Altic Lansing speakers are located right here above the 
touch sensitive keys. Now looking here, this is the scores that they have on the computer. The processor is the lowest one off at 4.8 and this is because this is a 2 gigahertz core 2 duo. So it's has a 5.0 on the memory, 4.9 on the graphics. 5.3 on the gaming graphics and a 5.4 on the hard disk. So, overall, maybe low on the processor, but I can attest that the graphics is pretty good on this because I tried Crisis out on this to see about the graphics, and Crisis automatically set all of its settings to high. Not highest, but high. So. And playing the game on those settings, there was no lag at all in Crisis on the high settings. I tried it on highest, and it started to lag, which I'm not surprised about, because it does get pretty resource demanding at, on its highest settings. But high was good enough for this, and there was no lag at all in the game, and it looked really good playing it on their settings. Now, there are some other features about the HDX that I haven't mentioned and one is the HDX's have what's called HP's Protect Smart technology and this is particularly for the hard drive and what it is is there's an accelerometer sensor in the in the notebook and if it detects any sudden shocks to the notebook say if you were to drop it or if you slammed the cover closed or anything like that that it would immediately park the hard drive heads so that it doesn't cause a head crash and the head crash is being where the, the heads slap against the spinning disk which then physically destroys the disk and physically destroying your data and there's an easy way to simulate that here in fact normally closing this thing actually triggers the protect smart because there's enough g-forces that it senses from closing the lid from the spring that it actually sets off the protect smart technology and we'll show how that works so we'll look at the display here what's going to happen is when the protect smart activates your hard drive indicator will glow red when it glows red that indicates that protect smart has, has activated and that the head hard drive heads have parked so We'll simulate that by closing the lid, putting it in the standby, and you'll see that. I'm just going to let it close here. Okay, it didn't do it that time. Usually, most of the time, it does. Let me open it back here, bring it back up. And standby. I'll back up here. Generally, most of the time, it'll put it into that protect smart so now we're back in windows again now let's see if we can get it to trigger the protect smart this time huh. interesting it does not want to do that today okay let's try this this way lower it down If it's on a flat surface, usually it'll detect it a little better. Sometimes the accelerometer is not going to detect it that easily when I'm holding it up like that. It's usually on a flat surface, it will do that. There we go. See, now the LEDs turn red, so the Protect Smart's been engaged. So it's parking the hard drive heads. And I should also quickly mention that the HP logo on the HDX is also lights up. That's a little added extra they decided to put on their premium series notebooks. And there, Protect Smart just went off. Now it's gonna enter back into standby. So that covers HP's HDX 16 notebooks. And remember, the features of this are the same pretty much for the HDX18. So, considering performance and entertainment, these are the way to go.